Hello, welcome. I'm Tani at Yoga 413, and today I'm leading you through a yoga sculpt class that combines yoga with strength training. You're gonna need a set of weights for this class. I recommend that three to five pound range. For reference, I picked up a set of fives today. Place them out of the way near the top of your mat. You also might want some water, maybe a towel close by. So get those things that you need, and let's get started. So we're gonna begin down on our mats, and I'm gonna bring you into an extended child's pose. So knees wide, feet connected. I want you to come down and begin to lengthen your arms forward. Let's start right off with um, some opening for the body, some lengthening, and begin to take a few deep breaths. Taking these first few moments of class to settle in and arrive on our mat, not only physically, but mentally. You've carved this time out for yourself, so let's honor it. Continue to lengthen the arms, but just walk the hands over to the right. Start to open up through that side body, through the rib cage, the back. And then walk those hands over to the other side. Come back to the center. One more deep breath in and out here. And then rise up into a tabletop position. Bringing those knees right under the hips. Bird dog pose, right arm extends forward and left leg back. release and switch sides. Release, and we're gonna to start to match breath and movement. So as you inhale, I want you to extend into your pose. And then as you exhale, return to all fours. Again, inhaling and exhale. So continue at your own pace, really beginning to awaken the body, especially those core muscles Really flex the foot and press through that heel. Lengthen through the fingertips. We're gonna do one more on each side. And then we're gonna move into a supported half moon or supported side plank. You're gonna Pivot that right foot back like a kickstand. Try to stack your hips and then come down and switch sides. Left foot kicks out behind you, open up. And again, we're flexing the foot, come down. Begin to match breath and movement. As you inhale, open up. And as you exhale, come down. Again, take your time. Slowly building some heat in the body. So as a reminder, anytime you need a break, you are welcome to just hit that pause button or simply take a child's pose and join us again when you're ready. We're gonna do one more on each side. and then move into downward facing dog. Feet hip distance apart, lift the hips up and begin to pedal out your feet. And now move into down dog, just find that stretch. You can always keep those knees slightly bent. Move forward into a high plank. Again, anytime we're in a high plank, you're always welcome to take those knees to the mat. Just one more breath here. Lower the knees, then lower the body. Taking the arms wide onto your fingertips, lift into Cobra Pose. And release. Two more times, lift. Open your heart forward, engage the muscles in the back. One more lift, Cobra. Good. 
Good, bring the hands back by the chest. Knees stay on the mat, back straight, press up, downward facing dog. Look forward and step to the top of your mat. Come into ragdoll pose. We're gonna cradle our elbows. Knees are slightly bent and start to sway side to side. And coming to the center, find some stillness, just lengthening through the back body. And bring the hands to the shins, flatten the back, shoulders pull back, half lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise up, arms over the head. Bringing the hands to prayer at our hearts. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen, flatten the back, half lift forward fold. Step back to that high plank. Take the knees to the mat. Lower halfway down for supported chaturanga. Lower all the way to the mat. Lift into cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward and step to the top of your mat and lengthen to that half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, high mountain. Hands to heart center. Again, reach up. Forward, fold. Lengthen your back. And fold. Step back to high plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Elbows, shoulders align. Flip your feet over, press into up dog, down dog. So as a reminder, cobra with the hips down on the mat is an option for up dog, should you wish to take that. Look forward and step to the top of your mat, lengthen the spine and fold. Inhale, rise, hands to heart center. Bend your knees, sit back into chair as the arms extend over your head. See if you can bring your biceps by the ears, really lengthen. Forward fold. Half lift. And fold. Step back to high plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Down dog. One leg dog, lift the right leg up, take a nice long stretch, shoulders stay square, and then bring the knee through the chest as you step the foot to the front and drop the back knee to the mat. Kneeling lunge. Taking the hands down, step back to down dog. Extend the left leg, find that length, Knee through chest, step and drop the right knee to the mat, kneeling lunge. Hands to the mat, down dog. Look forward, step to the top of your mat, lengthen the back and fold. So we're trying to build some heat here. Inhale, rise up. Hands to the heart center. Small change again, sit back into chair. Forward fold. Lengthen. And fold. Step back, high plank. Chaturanga. Upward. And downward. Lift the right leg. Step it forward, keep the back knee lifted this time, high lunge. Hands to the mat, down dock. Lift the left leg, step forward, high lunge, so back knee stays off the mat. 
down dog. Look forward, step forward, last time through, lengthen your back. Forward fold, be sure the weights are close by. Inhale, rise up. Hands to heart center. We're gonna to start to introduce some weights. Sit back into chair. Forward fold. Lengthen. Forward fold. Step back, high plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing. And downward. Extend the right leg, one leg dog. Step it forward, pick up those weights. Press them over your head. Three presses. You're going to come down and up, down, up. One more time. Weights come to the mat. High plank. We're going to do three chaturanga push-ups. So shift forward, bend the elbows, and press up. Two more. Down and up. Downward facing dog. So now we might be noticing our heart rate. Lift that left leg. Step it forward. Weights come into the hand. Press them over your head. Three presses. For three, palms face each other. Two. Good. Bring the weights down to the mat. Step back, high plank. Three push-ups, elbows to waist. For three, good. Two. One, <laughs> downward facing dog. Be sure you keep your back nice and straight. Knees are always an option to be taken to the mat. Look forward, step to the top of your mat. Deeply bend your knees, pick up your weights. Arrive in chair. Pull the elbows up behind the waist. Start to give me kickbacks for the tricep. Strengthening and toning the back of the arm. Slightly hip hinged forward. You're gonna keep these going, but tap the right foot back and then the left. Tap right, tap left. So you are keeping that standing knee bent. Continue. You do not have to be with me. Now hold that left foot back, arms lengthen, shift to warrior three, find your balance. Bring the weights down, start to row. Continue to press through that lifted heel. Try to level your hips. Squeeze to lift, elbows come up higher than the back, continue. Long set here, you've got this. Four more, about three, if you're with me, you've got it. Two, one, bring the weights to the chest, step it back to that high lunge, press up. Turn the palms away from you. You're gonna give me one press, bring it down, and then a one French door. Bring the elbows in, out, press up, in, out, press up. Continue. So let's say you have heavier weights than me. Maybe you are doing one arm at a time. Maybe you're just not doing as many reps. That is fine. Alternatively, maybe you have lighter weights, so maybe you're going a little faster. Just continue and do your best. That's it. Two more. Now, bring the weights to your chest, tilt the pelvis, drop that left knee to the mat. You're in a kneeling position. Arms come down, bicep curl. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm bringing you into this kneeling position <laughs> because I have something fun for us later. I just need to be sure that you are ready for it. Four to go. Four, three, to transition, weights to chest, tuck, lift up. Give yourself a little break and then move right into warrior two. Reach the arms over your head, palms in, tricep extension. Now as the arms straighten, you're gonna to start to straighten the leg and then bend, here we go. Good, move into sun pose, turn your toes out, bend those knees. You're gonna push and pull, cross the arms, pull back, cross, pull. Getting in some chest and back, obviously some shoulders. Keep those knees nice and bent. That's it, last four. Good, bring the weights to your chest, your toes still turn to the corners. I want you to deeply bend into that right knee toward the front of your mat, into a lateral lunge, press up, go to the left, and up. Bend, press, your booty is going behind you, continue. So I wanna be sure you're not lunging, you're lateral lunging, and that butt goes behind you. There you go. Bend, keep that back straight. So this is a section, heart rate might start to come up with these large muscle groups. You got about eight more to go. I want you to bend and up. This is an option. Low, back straight. You're doing phenomenal, phenomenally. Is that a word? I think it is. Continue. Last four, I'll pick four. Three, two, one, pivot back to the front of your mat into a high lunge. Okay, here's the fun part. You drop your left knee to your mat, put your weights out of the way. So right foot is forward. You're gonna take your hands to the mat, kick that right foot back. Now step that right foot back forward and stand up. Again, left knee, right leg kicks, right leg forward, step up, down, kick, and up, down, kick. So I didn't add cardio per se in this class, no jumping, but these big moves like this, heart rate will probably start to travel up. Let's do about three more. You do not have to be completely with me. Now come down, extend that right leg and hold, point the toe and pulse. Four, three, two, lift. Now you're gonna pull the knee to your chest, round the spine, tuck and lift. Bend, kick, bend, kick. Continue, really point that toe, squeeze the glute. Four to go, come on. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Step back to a high plank. You're gonna do a side to side push up. Take the right hand wide, give me a push up. Bring it in. Left hand goes wide, push up, continue. You are strong. 
you are strong. And take a child's pose. Great job. I'm gonna take this opportunity to wipe the sweat. Told you you might need a towel. <laughs> so take that break, get a drink, child's pose, wipe the sweat. It's a little warm in the studio today. Okay, so now you know what's coming. Now we just do it again on the other side. So when you're ready, downward facing dog. Step to the top of your mat. Pick up your those weights. Meet me in a chair pose. Elbows up, kick it back. Tap back left and right. Lead that right foot back, hold, lengthen, go into that warrior three, bring the arms down, start your row, pull, pull. Again, don't forget that lifted leg, that glute is firm, toes down, press through that heel. This is a total body workout. Four, three, you've got it. Stay with me, two, one. Weights to chest, step it back to that high lunge. Arms press up, palms away, down. French doors to bring it in and press up, go. Stay in that nice warrior stance. Try to keep those elbows up. You're doing beautifully. Smile, it'll get you through it. Smile will get you through anything. Good, two more to go. Stay strong, stay with me. Last one. Good, tuck, drop that knee to the mat. Hammer curls, palm space in this time. Four to go, four, you got it. Three, two, one. Weights to chest, stand it up. Meet me in a warrior two, bend that left leg. Arms up, tricep extension. As the arm straightens, the leg straightens and rebend. Two, good, meet me in a sun pose, toes turn out, start to push and pull. I'm gonna turn back to face you, continue. Push, pull. So you wanna move with purpose, you know, think about the muscles you're using, press, pull, chest, back. Four, three, two, one. Weights to chest, toes still turn out. Lateral lunge, left to right. Down, press, down, up. And again, if you want that little more, reach down. Just be sure you're keeping the back straight and to, uh, as you reach down, it's because you're getting deeper into the legs 
not because you're just bending over from your hips. Continue. Last four, last three, two, one. Pivot back to the front of your mat. Your left foot should be forward. You're in that high lunge. Now we tuck, we drop to the mat, weights to the side. Left foot is forward. Now that left foot will kick back. Left foot steps back forward and you stand up. Good, so right knee to the mat, left kick, left step. There you go. At your own pace. So this really challenges your balance. And, um, you know, I think one of the most important things, I call this functional training. We want to be able to get up and down off the floor. I have grandmothers who follow me, who do my classes, and, you know, they aren't worried about ever doing a handstand or any of that stuff. They just want to be able to really, truly function in their life. Let's do three more. Yoga helps that. This is really mobility work. Obviously core strength. Last one. Left leg extends back, point the toe, we pulse it. Hold it up. Now we round the spine, knee to chest, and then kick it back. Pull in, extend. Good, four more, come on. There's four. Three, two, and one. Step back, high plank. Stay with me. Last set. Step out wide with that left hand. Give me a push up. Bring it in, go to the other side. Some walking push ups. Finish off strong. You got it. Can you give me two more? Even if you take your knees to the mat, that's awesome. One more. And child's pose. Take that break. Wipe the sweat. So we're still gonna work, but we're gonna work now down from the mat. When you're ready, come on up and come onto your belly, onto the mat. So core muscles is both the front and back side of the body. So let's focus on the back for a moment. I want you to reach your arms forward, lift, squeeze back and release. Lift as you extend, squeeze back and down. So like you're swimming up, around and down. Lift, pull, and down. Lift as you extend, pull a little higher, and down. Continue. Two more. Last one. And rest. Just take your ear to the mat. Now, extend the arms forward. We're just gonna swim. You're gonna lift the legs, lift the arms, and swim. Oftentimes do this in Pilates. It is so great for strengthening the posterior chain, your back, glutes. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Take a child's pose. Sit it back. So I want you to come up and flip over 
pick up one weight. You're gonna bring it down onto your back. You're gonna lift the weight straight over the head. Now the shoulders can be down, they can be up. You pick. You're gonna extend the legs. I'm gonna start with my shoulders down and I'm gonna start to alternate leg drops. Keep that low back connected to the mat. Now we're gonna go to double leg drops or you can stick with the singles. Two more. And one, weight goes to the side, hands behind the head, crunch up and down, lift, lower. Shoulders lifting off the mat, elbows stay wide, we don't pull on our neck. Continue, but bring the right knee into the left elbow and switch. Continue or make it a little harder by just alternating, bring it into that bicycle. Nice, slow and controlled. Do your best to keep those shoulder blades lifted away from the mat. Four, three, two, one. Roll to one side, knees bent, bottom arm is gonna be straight out. Knees bent, arm up. So you're facing the side. You're gonna start with a crunch. So you can stay here, you can add a leg, or I'm gonna do both legs. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Pick up the weight. 10 leg drops, up, single or double, you pick. Two more, smile, you're doing great should be challenging that you're really having to focus. Weight goes down, crunch, up and down, lift, lift. Add the elbow to opposite knee. One, two, Stay or add that bicycle, switch, switch. Two, one, I'm going to the other side. Bottom arm is out, hand behind the head. Ready, side crunches for 10, nine, This is it guys, come on. Last four, three, two, and one. You did it. Hug your knees into your chest. Little massage here for your back. Feet are gonna go to the mat. Press, lift up into a bridge pose. Walk the shoulders down and in. Release it, knees to chest. So now you've worked so hard. We're gonna slow, get the benefits of this 
relaxing yoga stretch. So when you're ready, rock up to have a seat. Extend the right leg forward. We're gonna take that left and cross it over. Extend the right arm. We're going into a seated twist, so sit up nice and tall. Release from your twist. Take that left foot to the inner thigh. Extend, reach up, single leg fold. Lean over that right leg, hamstring stretch. Walk it up, switching sides, extend the left, cross right over left, sit it up, and twist. Facing the front, right foot to the inner thigh. Inhale, exhale it over. So I'm gonna encourage you now as we start to slow to try to lengthen out your breath, try to bring some release, some relaxation into the body. it up, extend both legs. We're gonna reach up, exhale over. Lengthen your back here. So if you need to slightly bend the knees, that's fine. I just am trying to prevent you from rounding that low back backwards. Instead, bring it forward. Start to roll down. Bring the knees in. And then we're gonna cross the right ankle above the left knee, coming into a reclining pigeon or sometimes called a figure four stretch. Switch sides. We're gonna take our arms into goal posts. Take your feet to the edges of your mat, knees bent. So try to open up your chest and then we're gonna drop the knees right and left, nice and slow. Kind of release here for the spine.
Good, let's hug the knees into the chest. Take a moment to circle the ankles and switch direction. So you have done an amazing job today and we're not quite done. I'm gonna bring you into Shavasana. And I know this is, you know, obviously a non-traditional yoga class, but I'm such a firm believer that it's so needed in our world to learn how to rest, to be still, even if it's for one minute. So I'm gonna encourage you to pause, to close your eyes. Simply be still and try to quiet and calm the mind as well. And if it starts to go to those to-do lists, I'm gonna encourage you to say, nope, I'm gonna pick a positive affirmation and I'm gonna repeat it to myself for the next minute or so. So begin to deepen your breath. Extend the arms over the head, stretch through the fingertips and the toes, lengthen it out. And then bend the knees, roll to a resting position on your side. Giving yourself just a moment here to adjust. Ah, great time to tell yourself good job. Maybe set your intention for the rest of your day. And then help yourself up to have a seat. I say it every class, but I truly mean it. You did beautifully, you showed up. You got the benefits of yoga and strength training. You did something great for yourself today that should be applauded. Let's bring the hands to prayer at our hearts. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Thanks again for joining me for class. Have a blessed day.